Hi, I'm Justin from Wagon Tech, and today we're gonna to take a look at how to jumpstart your vehicle using a portable jump starter. We're gonna be using our new Ion Boost torque models. So let's strap in and let's figure this out. First, let's take a look at what's inside the box. The Ion Boost Torque comes in two different models, the Ion Boost Torque V8 and the Ion Boost Torque V10 models. Specifically, we're gonna take a look at the V10 model right now. Inside the semi-rigid case, you'll find the device and its accessories. Let's take a look at the Ion Boost V10 Torque device itself. On the front, you'll find the LED lights, which will indicate charging and how much charge is remaining in the device. On this side, there's the LED light, two USB ports, one with quick charge 3.0, the other one's USB 2.0 amps. There's also the jump starter port, which is a standard EC5. On this side, you have USB-C input and a 12 volt DC output, as well as the power button that controls the device. Next up are the smart cables. These feature copper coated clamps with a smart brain. They're protected from reverse polarity and short circuits, which means if you put the clamps on the wrong battery terminals or touch the clamps together, they won't spark and will not damage your vehicle. Also included is USB to DC charging adapter. This is useful if your car doesn't have a built-in USB port. Simply plug this device into your car's cigarette lighter and use the included USB-C cable to charge your ion boost while on the go. Also included is a user manual and the 12 volt DC socket, which is unique to the Ion Boost V10 torque model only. It is not included in the Ion Boost V8 torque models. This can accept up to five amps and you can power any of those devices that you'd normally plug in your car's 12 volt accessory socket. Now that we've taken a look at all the accessories that are included in the Ion Boost torque models, let's take a look at how to jumpstart your vehicle. But first, always make sure that your Ion Boost torque model is fully charged prior to jumpstarting. First, you wanna make sure that your parking brake is set and that all of your electrical devices are off, including your dome light, your ignition, your radio, and all accessories. Now that you're under the hood, locate the battery in your vehicle. In our instance, the battery's in the front left-hand corner. Also locate the negative terminal and the positive terminal. Now let's connect the jumper cables to the Ion Boost Torque. Simply lift up on the rubber cover and connect the EC5 port. Notice that they're keyed so they cannot be placed incorrectly. Simply slide it into position and you're ready to go. Both Ion Boost Torque models come with smart cables, which protect against a ton of different safety conditions, including short circuit. I'm gonna demonstrate that here by putting these two together. As you can see, there's no spark, and when detected, an alarm sounds with a red light. Simply disconnect this and they're back to normal. Okay, now let's connect the clamps to the battery. Start with the positive or red cable and connect it to the positive terminal on the battery. And then connect the black or negative clamp to an unpainted part of the frame. If an unpainted part of the frame is inaccessible, go ahead and use the negative terminal on the battery. Once connected, you can see the light turns green, which means you have a good connection. Make sure to place the ion boost in a safe place where it will not fall into the engine compartment. Now go ahead and start your vehicle. Now that the engine's running, go ahead and remove the ion boost torque from the battery. Now that the engine's running, go ahead and disconnect in reverse order. Take the black cable off and then the red and ensure you put everything back the way it should be. Be sure to recharge the device as soon as possible after using. And that's how you jumpstart a vehicle. Now let's take a look at how to use the other features of the device. To recharge your smartphone, tablet, or other USB powered devices, simply take your cable and plug it into one of the USB ports on the front of the Ion Boost Torque. Then take the other end of your cable and plug it into your device. The device should automatically begin charging. If it doesn't, go ahead and press the power button on the side of the device. To use a 12 volt DC socket on an Ion Boost V10 Torque models is real simple. Just plug it into the 12 volt DC output and it's ready to use. I'm gonna plug it into a Wagon Tech heated seat cushion. To use the LED flashlight, simply press and hold the power button for three seconds. The light will turn on to steady mode. Press it one more time for strobe and one more time for SOS. To turn it off, simply press the button again. To charge Ion Boost Torque models, simply plug in the USB charging adapter into your car's 12 volt DC socket and then connect the USB-C cable to your Ion Boost Torque. That's all you have to do. Now you know how to jumpstart your vehicle and power your accessories using the Ion Boost Torque models. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.